Now, individuals in the inland and aquaculture fishing sector are decrying the pollution of major water bodies by activities of illegal mining that continue to threaten aquatic lives in parts of the country. The National Inland Canoe Fishermen Council is lamenting how its operations are affected by illegal mining and the Ghana National Aquaculture Association also says some of its members are losing livelihoods as uh, illegal miners take over fish farms. Channel 1 News' is Ashanti Regional Correspondent Hafiz Tijani has more. The National Inland Canoe Fishermen Council states that major rivers in the Savannah, Eastern and Bunu East regions are under threat leading a reduction in fish catches. The catches have reduced and even some of the illegal miners are using weapons to make sure that our people even move out from uh, their, their communities. Sometimes even the fishing grounds and when we land hmm. or are around the, uh, the black water, uh, the places where they mined. Uh, on the savannah, that is the Banda side and the savannah areas, yeah. on the black water. Uh, they actually use weapons to even make sure that our people who live in the communities leave the area for them. The Ghana National Aquaculture Association reports that fish farmers in the Ashanti region are gradually losing their farms due to illegal mining activities. Unfortunately, this is the very area where Illegal mining is taking place. And some of the farms, the farmers come and they is half baiting you, half threatening you. Get off. They, they offer very attractive uh, uh, inducements. They offer very attractive amounts of money for you to leave your farm and uh, let them come and do the calamity. The Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development is working with stakeholders in inland fisheries and aquaculture across the country to draft a new fisheries and aquaculture bill. The bill aims to modernize and harmonize the management of Ghana's inland fisheries and aquaculture sectors. We are trying to ensure that the, the aquaculture sector, the operators, uh, are lances. We have a uh, the extension services for them, the processes are lancing, there are adequate training for them on all how to go about the processes and all that, so that the fish that we consume are ahead. Once you produce that item for the market, for other people to come and buy, Food and Drugs Authority and, and joins you to use some particular methods and desist from using some chemicals and things like that. The ministry assured that it will continue to work closely with stakeholders to promote sustainable and safe fishing practices. Stakeholders in the inland and aquaculture fishing sector say illegal mining activities are threatening livelihoods in parts of the country where their members operate. Hafiz Tijani, Channel 1 News, Kumasi, Ashanti region.